All right, this is going to be a quick fit guide. I am 5 foot 11, I have a 40 inch chest and a 31 inch waist. The, uh, or 30. The, this is the uh, Montane Sabertooth jacket. I'm wearing a large right now. I have a medium as well. I'm wearing it over top of a Polar Tech power drive base layer. The uh, large zippers are pretty easy to work. For me, um, with my height, this torso length works really well. I like um, soft shells. I'm looking for more of a, you know, anywhere from 50 degrees down to zero, maybe a little bit colder, uh, depending on activity levels, uh, what you're doing. So this jacket fits really good. And has very little hem lift. Uh, the issue that I have with this particular, like being a large, for me anyway, is just so much excess of room in the chest. Um, I can literally take six inches out of this jacket and I probably won't wear it over much more than what I already have on. The, uh, the most that I would do would be uh, something like a form-fitting base layer. I can grab one of those. This is a, a an insulated puppy hybrid kind of thing. It's got some fleece in the arms and it's a pretty long cut, which I like because it covers everything when it's really cold. I've worn this a few times running when it's, you know, 10 degrees or so. And it works really well over top of a base layer. This large pulls over really easily. So, you know, if I needed more wind protection or storm protection or, uh, I guess mainly wind protection. I just wanted to insulate a little more. This would work. But I still still have a lot of excess room in the body. So a lot more than is really needed. So I don't I don't particularly like the bagginess of the large on me and it really it really bugs me. The uh, the medium saber tooth have here fits over it basically perfectly there's a little bit of excess room in the arms but not a lot but not enough it's not so that it's bulky the issue that I have with the uh, the medium is going to be torso length so uh, sorry not as good with the left-handed zippers, but fits the chest perfect. There's really not about an inch or so of extra room with this layering option, so it fits basically the way I want my soft shell to fit, except for the torso length. You can see this jacket hangs out quite a bit. Um, it is a long jacket, but you zip up. My uh, my base layer, base layers that I wear are all about, you know, just an inch or so shorter than this guy. So they kind of hang out of the bottom of this as well. Um, something I don't understand. Uh, note, they do have a belay button. So, you know, if you want to belay with this jacket, that's a really good option. I, kinda, I like that, personally. The chest pockets on these jackets are plenty deep. Uh, hands go down to here. And it's like that on either side. Two good access pockets here. They're not as deep. They go up high and they have mesh on the inside. So if you want venting this pocket, you can you can vent out of the hand pockets. Um, another thing to note with my torso length, the medium and you know it fits perfect in the body, perfect in the arms. Torso length is wrong, which does change one little thing. If you're if you're gonna, if you're gonna look up, there's just a little bit of pulling. It's tolerable, but the hoods the hoods adjust perfectly on the the saber tooth. Montaigne's really great with their hoods, so it's a really good fit. Oh, I guess and. What I really like about the medium jacket as far as its chest size is 
is, they, you know, they work, this is over top of a thin base layer. It's just not too bulky, it just, it really, it just fits the way I want my soft shell to fit in the chest and the arms. You know, I have no issue with the arms, well, the length of the arms on the, on the large. The arms are a little bit more baggy, but this medium fits me perfectly, uh, except for in the torso length. So you can see my uh, my base layer does sort of hang out. And the only reason I like the extra length uh, with soft shells is because I am wearing them as sort of a weather protection, windy days. So I want them to cover everything. And typically when you put a backpack on with a soft shell, um, one that fits right on with length, you're always doing this number. You're always trying to pull it down and get it where it's supposed to be because as soon as you do that, it's up and then it stays. And then it's just, it's aggravating to me. You know, like, as soon as I bend over, it's like, it should be that little bit, a little bit length, lengthier. But you can see with a, uh, a backpack, still access to pockets. Really easy. And like I say, I, I do have a fair bit of extra fabric. You know, when I take the other jacket off, I got that's a, a solid two inches of extra room to layer, so that that fit is really perfect for you know a forty inch chest or so. I guess I can maybe measure my torso length and put that in, but that that's the only complaint I have about this jacket. They I have the the Montane Alpine stretch as well, in both the medium and the large because I wasn't sure which jacket I would like better. I ordered quite a few just to see if I could find something that fits, but they fit exactly the same. And uh, while I'm noting, this is this is the large, and you can really see the extra bulkiness in this jacket because it's not as uh, I think it's thick, so I, it feels a lot bulkier. But the cut is basically the same. It's just you can feel it a little more since the fabric's a lot thinner. I think mean, I feel like you see it a little more too. And maybe, maybe since they're black, they don't sh doesn't show how bulky they really are. But the large again fits perfect in the torso. But I mean, with, with the larges, I have about a solid six inches of extra fabric that's just not needed in the chest for me. And it, you know, it's it's not huge. I mean, it's it's wearable. But it's you know, if you're if you're paying two hundred plus dollars. I guess two hundred and fifty plus dollars for a jacket. I kind of want it to fit me the way I want it to fit me. So the medium on this one again, and I could probably tolerate the sizing on the medium of the uh, the Alpine stretch a little more because I would be using it in sort of warmer circumstances. So that extra length isn't going to be maybe necessary. Uh, so. The cuffs, they adjust quite well. They're both Velcro on either jacket, and I already have them adjusted on those. But the medium here fits really well. And, you know, I could, with what I'm wearing right now, I, I would probably be comfortable in an active hike down to 15 degrees with the wind blowing kind of thing. Um, if it's warm and sunny and not no wind, wearing what I'm wearing, I could probably go single digits on a pretty active hike fairly easy. So that's why I'm really picky about the fit is... Even with the Alpine stretch, um, this, this guy has a little bit more of a fleece backing, so it's going to add a little bit of warmth. So uh, it'll go a little cooler for those temperatures. And I, I kind of like that. It's, it should work about as well, but this is this, this jacket should work a little better in the extreme stuff with the heavier winds and things of that nature. This is going to breathe a little bit more when you get into like the 30, 30 mile an hour winds kind of stuff. But as far as like most comfortable days, uh, or semi-comfortable days, alpine summer kind of stuff, this jacket's going to work really good for those 30 degree tops and wind blowing 20 miles an hour, you'll be fine, you know, as long as you don't stay up there hours kind of thing, because the, uh, the, the chest pockets on this jacket are, they're mesh lined, but they have a solid backing, so I'm not sure how well that's going to work with venting. The uh, interior pocket here actually has a micro. This is a, I guess, 
fleece on one side, it feels like just a micro fleece. So you'll see that. I guess something I should note is there there is a, a difference in the fabrics between the large and the medium with the uh, Alpine stretch. The grid on the large is actually bigger than the grid that's used in the medium. And to me, it feels a little like it's like a slightly heavier weight fabric. Um, and the large jacket may be a little tougher. I'm not sure if that's going to make a difference. But there's a, there's a definite, like you can, I, mean, I can't show it to you on the camera, but there's just a slight difference between the two fabrics. Or at least it seems that way to me. It's something I noticed as soon as I pulled them out. Maybe it's just different batches and they, they felt quite a little different or something. I don't know. But something I noticed when I was looking at it. There is no blade button on this jacket, but you can zip up um, to, to belay or vent or whatnot. And I really, I really like those double zippers. Personally, I just, you know, they added weight of one zipper. It's well worth it in functionality. So, uh, you know, you got a backpack strap on, you can zip up and you can still keep keep it kind of closed to keep the chest a little warmer. So, really good feature that I, that I like a lot. Uh, I guess while doing this, if you, if you guys are interested, this is the Arct, Arcteric, the Gamma SL. This is a medium, and it's, you know, it's not a bad fit. It feels to me, it feels oversized for what it is. I mean, it feels like a kind of a just an oversized, lightweight windbreaker. And maybe that's what they're going for. The It's got a nice tail on it. Zipper, super easy, super micro. It's really small. Um, which I guess, you know, it helps with the weight. I personally don't like the hood all that much. It's got an adjustment in the back, back here where you can pull it up. Because it's, it's really big, it fits over a helmet, The uh, and it's got adjustments here on the side, but it, you know, it's it'll turn with you. Uh, Montaigne's fit perfect, you can look around and do everything with those as well, but they just seem to fit a little better. And I do like the wire peak brims that Montaigne comes with on both of their Alpine and this uh, Sabretooth. This is just kind of just a brim that's, I don't know if the fabric just been double back or slightly harder the uh, but something about this jacket one it's not quite long enough for my my taste like they the cut actually lifts in the front right here so I'm not sure what they're kind of going for maybe it's just that look everybody likes their zippers I don't know personally I would rather be a little bit longer in the arms and the torso than to be shorter um, I know it looks a little better for going around town, but like if I have the hood on and I bend down, it pulls up on the butt quite a bit, and I can feel pulling, and I can release the tension back here from the hood, but then it tends to like come over into the face, so now, you know, my, my vision above here is kind of limited, so it may be good for storm protection and that sort of thing if you're out. But I prefer the visibility, so for me to tuck that back away. And something about this jacket—it does have foam in the sides, so I guess it's nice on the on the hips kind of thing. Never seen that before. Pockets are in a decent place, and they do have mesh on the inside for venting. The, the cuffs are easily adjustable. With the, they have Velcro on the bottom side, so they stretch a little. On the well, I guess on the back side. And then you have your Velcro adjustment, but you know, even with the Velcro adjusted, you still have stretch, so it's easy to pull them off. So I do like that feature a lot. I wish the Montaigne had that, the Velcro. That's a really cool idea. Um, the arms are articulated, I guess, in this jacket, and it's supposed to be a more durable, water-resistant fabric on the outside, on the tops, shoulders, hood, and then the body's supposed to be more breathable. And still, but if I put the large on, this thing is like a gigantic, huge piece. I mean, I still have, that's almost, that's almost six inches of extra fabric in the body for me. So I just, personally, I don't like the fit of this. 
and for the cost of like 260 bucks I just I would rather wear something else personally um, but if you're if you're going to just climb and that's all you're gonna use the jacket for and you really want the lightest um, this might be a choice for you I mean it is it's super lightweight um, I'm guessing it's gonna take a take some scuffs okay it's, it's not gonna take puncturing things as well as either of those jackets would but it's all in all and it slips over top of all the fabrics really easily because it doesn't have a like a fleece or a wicking type backing on it so I don't know how well that's gonna work like if you're out in the summertime wanting to wear this without a base layer you may feel kind of tacky in this whereas with the Alpine stretch they have a it's, this is it's a very very like super micro kind of feel to it that's gonna wick some moisture off your body and the, the light the I guess I would say micro fleece backing on the saber tooth is gonna do the same thing it's gonna wick moisture off of you so this should be pretty comfortable to wear this is this jacket's pretty bomber it's got the Pertex shield in it you can see the articulation in the arms if you guys have any questions let me know and I'll do what I can to help